Let's go, Miss Carlisle. No, let me go. Easy. If I gotta go, you gotta go. Uh, oh, no, Sam. Help! How about the Wheel of Fortune? The captain's table, please. Keep the area covered. Don't let anyone in or out. <laughs> Miss Carla, you're not allowed out here. You mean that you can just... With a flick of the wrist. <laughs> Got eight minutes to get to the bridge. No! No, me! <laughs> Outside U.S. jurisdiction. How many of the crew can we count on? Chief Stanton and six of his men are in on it. The rest of the crew, of course, will take orders as usual. Are you ready to move? We're all in position. Miss Carlyne is on our private deck. Alone? As usual. Yes, Miss Carlyle. Stuart, what's happened to that lap robe I asked for? It's on its way, Miss Carlyle. Thank you. Please come with us, Miss Carlyle. Well, uh, is anything wrong? Everything's fine. You needed a midships. What for? We have some papers for you to sign. Let's go, Miss Carlyle. I most certainly will not. Do what the captain tells you. Why, for goodness sake! Now let me go. Easy. I... Why do you think you can possibly get away with this, Captain? Sign it. It's treason. You're asking me to sign over super tankers to the enemies of the United States. I refuse to sell any part of Carlisle Blue Star shipping. We're now on our way to rendezvous with one of their warships. At 10 p.m. Friday, we intend to deliver these papers. Signed. I refuse to sign it. We may have to make you change your mind. Frisco wants you. All right. What's up? Not up. Down. Half of America's fleet of oil tankers. For all practical purposes, they're sinking. Fast. This is Amory Carlisle, speaking to you from the Caribbean Empress at sea. I'm sending you this message to eliminate any possibility of a misunderstanding. Although I shall retain the Caribbean Empress, I have decided, as of this date, to sell my fleet of super tankers to foreign interests. Translation and unfriendly As sole government. owner of Carlisle Blue Star Shipping, I have every right to do this. Friday at 10 p.m., the sale will be consummated, and you will receive full documentation with my signature and fingerprints. My decision is final and irrevocable. That is all. And that is the problem. What's the problem? Send in the Navy and grab the tankers. 
No, for your information, Hotspur, that would be an act of piracy. No, Leonard, I'm puzzled about something. Isn't A. Marie Carlyle a member of Intersex Civilian Advisory Board? Yes, and I've met her personally. She's the last person in the world whose patriotism I'd ever question. Then how do you explain this sudden turnaround from patriot to traitor? There's only one possible explanation. Duress. Precisely. Well, Leonard, if you could prove that, you could send in the Navy. If we could prove that. And the deadline is 5 p.m. Friday. And that's the part that's going to be up to you, Sam. Me? Why me? Why do I always get these 24-hour jobs, Leonard? You've got other agents. Use one of them. Sam. Oh. All right. Okay, first of all, you've got a problem with that tape. Abby, run it back at about half speed, please. This is Amory Carlisle, speaking to you from the Caribbean Empress at sea. I'm sending you this message to eliminate any possibility of a misunderstanding. Right there. Although I shall retain the Caribbean Empress, I have decided as of this date to sell my fleet... See, it's out of sync. The lips don't quite match the words. But couldn't it be just a mechanical error? Uh, Sam, we don't have time to analyze voice prints. The problem is, how do we get you aboard? Well, I can solve that problem for you, Leonard, but I'm going to need a little help from my friend here. If I got to go, you got to go. Oh, oh, no, Sam. Listen, I'm just your little old house atomic physicist here. Commander Navy Task Force One Niner. Coast Guard PBY Charlie Bravo 48. We'll land intercept personnel at coordinates Delta 7. King 1 5 at 1300 hours. Destroyer Kearsage will launch civilian sailing vessel with intercept personnel aboard to intercept course of Caribbean Empress. Approximately 900 hours. Urgent, all squadron commanders. Be on the alert for foreign submarines reported heading for rendezvous with Caribbean Empress. Report immediately any sightings and their positions to this command. Your tea, Miss Carlisle. I'll be right back. Yes. Mom? Mom, I want to help you. Who are you? You're not my regular maid. No, Mom. What happened to her? I don't know, Mom. Oh, they've harmed her. They've sent you here to trick me. Oh, no, Mom. I volunteered. Why? To help you, to find you. I was there when they dragged you off. No one was there. Oh, yes, Mum. I was bringing the lap robe you asked for. Yes, the lap robe. What's your name? Daphne. Daphne, I, I don't know whether to trust you or not. Oh, you can trust me, Mum. Why? What am I to you? Oh, you're a great lady, Mum. One I always looked up to. Besides, the likes of them ain't got no right to do what they're doing to the likes of you. Well, aren't you afraid? Yes, Mum, but... England expects every man to do his duty. At least why she did before the dole and all. Be quick about it. I'll be right back. I won't have you risk your life for me. These are dangerous men. I ought to do nothing, understand? Uh, that's an order. What were you two talking about? She just wanted to know whether I take cream or sugar. Be the tray and get out. Captain, you won't believe this. What? Small craft in distress just off her starboard bow. Looks like a woman alone. All right. Slow the engines. Aye, aye, sir. Help! Hey, Captain Bly, you can stop waving your shirt now. They've spotted us. Just put it on. I think they're lowering a boat. All right. When they come alongside, nudge me. I'll disappear. Why don't you come aboard with me as my husband or something? Because they're going to be watching you every second, Abby. They might even lock you up. Don't worry, I'll be on the ship with you. Thanks, Sam. I didn't want to come on this trip anyway. 
I just want to remind you. I know, I know, Sam. They're getting closer. <laughs> And then three days ago, after the squall blew away the radio antenna, my husband, David, he took the rubber dinghy with the, the outboard on it and he headed off toward Sugarloaf Point. I'm sure he's safe. Commander, try to get in touch with the Coast Guard at Sugarloaf. Aye, aye, sir. Find an empty stateroom and some clothes. Aye, aye, sir. This way, miss. What squall three days ago? That's what I was wondering, sir. Keep an eye on her. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right, thank you. Report from the PBY. The Empress picked them up and they're safely on board. How's the destroyer squadron standing by? The task force is on station. But of course, as you know, the Navy can't act unless your agent obtains indisputable evidence that Miss Carlisle is being held against her will. You get me that evidence, and I'll order the fleet to move. Don't you worry about that. He'll get the evidence. Well, I'd better hurry. Ten o'clock's the deadline. Yes, yeah, so I got five hours left. Very nice. How about playing our song next? <sighs> Sorry about that. Pretty corny, huh? Pretty bad. Yeah. I thought I had met all the help. Well, they keep me down below. I'm the laundry officer. By the way, what's with our mutual boss? Miss Carlisle? Yeah, she ever appear in public? Rarely, if at all. Rarely means sometimes, though, huh? Rarely means some very few times. And even then, she's always surrounded by the brass. Captain Brenner, Commander Hammond. Mm -hmm. They see to it that she's not disturbed. She's a very private lady. She makes a brief appearance now and then, and that's all. Who's in? You've lucked out. is a great lady. Where's she going now, you know? Back to her stateroom, I guess. A deck, the part that's roped off. Well, it's uh, back to the laundry room for me. That's what they all say. She's on A-deck. How would you like a massage? Hmm? Hairdo, manicure, the works. Mm. Go ahead, I'll be right behind you. Hey, elevator. 
Sorry, miss. Oh. You're allowed on this deck. Oh, then could you tell me where the beauty shop is? Oh, uh, yes, that's on B deck. Oh, I'm the one that was rescued. I've been lost at sea since yesterday. And I have an appointment with uh, Henri or something like that for a, a massage and a facial. And... Oh! oh, I'm so sorry. This is A deck. B deck's one deck below. Oh, thank you. I, I'm just been failing to. Okay, uh, let's see. My uh, lipstick, my comb, everything. Thank you so much. B deck. Bye bye. Soundtrack only. Amory Carlisle voice for videotape message to the U.S. Maritime Commission. Take one. Gentlemen, I'm sending you this videotape to underscore the firmness of my decision. You will receive a copy of the contract with my signature and my fingerprint. The transaction is final. That is all. Someone's in the security room. Better alert the captain. Is the current on? Huh, all well, 20,000 volts. Something shorted it out. When was Evans finished? She left about ten minutes ago, sir. Watch it. You have the electrical crew check out the wiring. Right away, sir. Check with Evans. Yes, sir. Shorten the wiring. You used an additional two minutes and 25 seconds, so you have five minutes and 35 seconds left to fail safe. That's when I pop on like a flashbulb, ready or not. Right, except there is a 10 second warning buzzer before you become visible. Right. Did you find Amory's stateroom? No. I found out they're using another woman to impersonate her voice. Then you were right about the lip sync. Yeah, but they don't look alike, Abby. That's what I can't figure out. How do they get the voice to match? Unless somehow they're forcing Amory to say the words, but then that doesn't make any sense. Why do they need another voice? Why don't we just have Driscoll call in the troops? I mean, isn't this enough proof of duress? I don't know, Abby. 
It's proof of something, but I don't think it's enough to bring the Navy in. They're going to want a smoking gun. Oh, terrific. Abby, maybe they're using two doubles. One that looks like her and one that sounds like her. No, Sam, there aren't two women that look like that in all the world. You're right. Abby, we're just going to have to get close to her. But how? How about the Wheel of Fortune? No way, it's rigged. We'll unrig it. Wonderful. Sorry to interrupt you, but unfortunately, Miss Carlyle has some urgent business to attend. Of course, oh. sir. Do excuse us. Some other time. <clears throat> Sending you this videoscore the, the firmness of my, of my decision. 
You will, you will receive a copy, a copy of, the of the contract with my signature and my fingerprint. The transaction, the transaction is, is final. That is all. That is all. Practice. <clears throat> Practice for one hour. Then we'll tape the television picture. Gentlemen, Gentlemen I, am I am sending you this videotape to underscore the firmness of my decision. decision. You will receive a copy of this contract with my signature and my fingerprints. The transaction, the transaction is final. That is all. Gentlemen. <sighs> Gentlemen, I am sending you this videotape to underscore the firmness of my decision. We'll be ready for picture in 10 minutes. No, no, I must practice. We want to make some tests. One hour. Practice. Casey. Mr. Casey, would you like to join us? I'm sorry, but that's against ship's protocol, Mrs. Lawrence. Oh. It's all right, Commander. I have an engraved invitation. Please, sit down, Mr. Casey. It's all right, Captain. I won't be dining with you. I don't recall seeing your name on the passenger manifest. You didn't. I'm not on it. None of us are. None of you? I'm an intersect agent, Captain. I have a backup team aboard. A backup team? They're around, Captain. As you can see, we have the situation covered. If you're requesting our cooperation, Mr. Casey, you have it. Mr. Johnson, would you show our guests to the promenade? This seems to be a confidential matter. Oh, but... Uh... Captain's right, Mrs. Uh, Lawrence, is it? Yes. It would be better not to uh, involve the passengers. Certainly. All right, Mr. Casey. Put quite a card on the table. I'm ready to see your hand. Well, now I'm ready to see Amy Carlyle. You've seen her. I've seen bits and pieces of her. A face here, a voice there. What we've seen is the woman that owns that passport. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Captain, don't play dumb with me. I'm talking about a double that can barely speak English and an actress that supplies the voice. Now, you put the voice and the picture together and you have a fairly good videotape of Amory Carlyle. But if I don't see the genuine article right now, my team of agents move in. I admit that you're right about the double, but it's Miss Carlyle's own idea. See, she's a confirmed recluse and doesn't uh, want to be bothered with administrative details. Well, now, I'll believe that when I see her. And talk to her. And check her fingerprints. She refuses to let anyone visit her stateroom. Chief, what else would I can do to persuade her to meet you? Would you conduct Mr. Casey to the private deck? Aye, aye, sir. I think under the circumstances, Miss Carlyle would want to meet you. Thank you. Is he bluffing? What about the backup team? I don't know. I can put our men on it. Did you see the look on Mrs. Lawrence's face? <laughs> she, she knows him all right. We can confine her to her stateroom. Yes, with guards in the door. see Miss Carlyle. And you're not going to. Maybe you'll settle for a shark or two. Over the side. <laughs> Hey. 
hands up. You heard what I said. Get your hands up. You haven't even gotten the safety off. Oh! <laughs> well, nice going, whoever you are. Daphne, sir. Daphne. How'd you get here, Daphne? I came to help you, sir. I know these men are trying to hurt Miss Carlyle, so you must be on her side. You're right, Daphne. I am on her side. Oh. Oh, my sheets. <laughs> Don't worry about your sheets. I got a better use for them. Look, Daphne, tell me. How did you know they were trying to hurt Miss Carlyle? They mistreated her, sir. I know. I've seen her. You have seen her? Of course. I deliver her a tray. You're kidding me. Daphne, I love you. Where do they keep her? Deep, deep in the ship, so that there's, there's a secret elevator. Daphne, would you be willing to help me save Miss Carlyle? Because I think I have a plan. Yes, sir. I ain't much good with firearms. No. I don't need that. I just need a courier, someone that I can depend on to get a message through. Oh, I'll get it through, sir. All right. You know who Miss Lawrence is? The one they rescued? Oh, the lady in stateroom 12. Right. I want you to give her this message. At fail safe, begin the emergency plan. Those words exactly. At fail safe, begin the emergency plan. You got it. Good luck, partner. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Captain Brenner, please contact the bridge. Give me the bridge. Hang it up. I've got a heavy duty side arm pointed right in the middle of your back. I hear you. I want to go take a look at that security room of yours. Hey, elevator. As you were. Aye, aye, sir. Put it on safety. Yes, sir. Uh-uh, no buttons. Use that fancy little magnetic key of yours. You know all the answers, don't you? All but the big one, Jack. All right, hold it right there. That's a utility shaft. With an elevator in it? Leading down to the hold. The hold or a secret stateroom? Come on, open it up. I told you I'm ready to cooperate, but it's better if I go in and explain things to her before you come in. No, what it's better for you to do is just stay two feet in front of me. Miss Carla? Taking the other one for you. Oh! Who is he? An agent of Intersect, he said. But he doesn't look like much of anything now, does he? I'm in radio contact with the client nation, and this warship will meet us very soon. You are to prepare to cooperate in case you're needed to finalize the sale of the tankers once and forever. After that, we'll have to decide what to do with you two, won't we?
right? Oh, I'm sorry. I really blew it, didn't I? Oh, yes, that captain hit you from behind. Can I, can I help oh, you? Oh, please, please, I'm okay, I'm okay. Do you mind if I sit down a minute? Oh, please. Miss Carlyle, I have one question to ask you that's very important. Have you been under duress? <laughs> yes, of course. I thought so. But I had to hear it come out of your mouth. Good. We're getting out of here. <laughs> well, you're remarkable. Here we are, locked behind a steel door. And if we could get out, there are armed guards ready to shoot us down. And besides, there's no time. In 15 short minutes, this vessel is going to rendezvous with an enemy warship. A warship? Yes. And you say, as though we were going for a stroll. We're getting out of here. Miss Carlyle, I have a way. <laughs> it can only be your youth, your overwhelming optimism, and your charm. Why, thank you very much, ma'am. No, it's even better than that. Watch. Oh, what's happening to me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. You mean that you can just... With a flick of the wrist. But it's a classified secret, Miss Carlyle, and it has to stay that way, all right? Oh, I promise. Okay. One more thing. I'm gonna need your help. My, my help? Yes. How, how, how can... Trust me. Believe me, together we can do it. Nobody can go in there. Captain's orders. Oh, now, now listen here, lad. I'm, I'm sure the captain didn't say nothing about a chambermaid with a lady's towels. Maybe you think I've got a barmaid in here. Is something the matter? You are Miss Lawrence? Yes. At failsafe, begin the emergency plan. What? It's a message, miss. From Sam. It could only be from Sam. Is he safe? Yes, miss. Oh. Who are you? I'm Daphne, miss, and I want to help. Oh, Daphne. Welcome to the side of the angels. Only if they're on Miss Carlyle's side, miss. They are. They are. Let's see, Sam has only 50 seconds left. But maybe we still have time to pull it off. Fifty seconds, miss? Never mind. Daphne, will you help me with the emergency plan when the time comes? Well, I've never done anything like this before, miss. Going against ship's officers and the like. But I'll do my best. Thank you, Daphne. Well, the ship's been searched from stem to stern, Captain. Absolutely no sign of another agent on board. Of course not. He was bluffing, Shem. Sure. It's Miss Carlyle. Is the captain? Sam Casey here, Captain. Get the ship's doctor down here quick. What happened? Amory Carlyle's unconscious. I think she's taking some sleeping pills. I don't believe him, do you? No. Let's get down there. It's almost rendezvous time. Mm -hmm. If Casey's pulling a trick, we take him out now. It's about time. Don't let anyone in or out. Aye, aye, sir. I thought you said Casey was in here. I'll look in the bedroom. Call the doctor. Yeah. Clear and pass security guards. All right. supposed to be out here. Captain Brenner's orders. Captain Brenner takes orders from me, and I suggest that you do the same. 
I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take you back. <laughs> Less than 20 seconds left. Before what, miss? Before Sam pops on like a light bulb. A light bulb? Say the same for me. Is anything wrong? Yeah, 10 seconds to fail safe. What does that mean? No place to hide. Oh. Miss Carla, you're not allowed out here. What the oh! 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 Fail safe. Sam's headed. Daphne, get me the wastebasket. Here you are, miss. Thank you. Now get me a towel to cover the sprinklers. Oh! Hold it, stop the other. Give me the starboard entry to the main salon. A match. Oh, we've got some here. Thank you. All right, Miss Carlisle, let's go. not going. Captain's orders. Don't touch me. Passengers will proceed in an orderly manner. Follow your fire drill instructions. Please report to your assigned lifeboat sections. Walk. Do not run. Turn the fire alarm off now, Lieutenant. Oh, sorry, but Captain Brenner. Do as Mr. Casey says, Lieutenant. Yes, ma'am. This is Lieutenant Stoller. Secure the alarm system. Captain Brenner is no longer in charge. What? As owner of this ship, I have the legal right to relieve Captain Brenner of his command. <laughs> but who will take over? You are, Lieutenant. Amory Carlisle. I have appointed Lieutenant Stola acting captain, and I hereby order that Captain Brenner and Commander Hammond be placed under arrest on the grounds of kidnapping and felony malfeasance. Okay, we're all set. I have the intersect channel. Uh, this is Amory Carlisle. I have been held prisoner and forced against my will to authorize the sale of my fleet of oil tankers. I hereby repudiate any such sale. All contracts are canceled. Heard enough? Yes. This is Admiral Farragut. Begin Operation Rescue. To Commander, Task Force 19er. Spotter aircraft reports sighting unidentified submarine in proximity of Caribbean Empress. Alert all squadron commanders to proceed at maximum speed to outer perimeter of Zone 39er 5. All units, Task Force 19er. Condition red. Converge on coordinates Bravo 47, George 55. All parties are under arrest. The Caribbean interest is secure and on course. I'd give or take a few degrees. It's from Driscoll. 
Sale of Blue Star tankers canceled. Never have so many owed so much to so few. You did it, Mr. Casey. Mr. Casey? It's no use. He's found a new toy. Sam, say something. Make a noise. You want to take a turn? Would it be all right, Mum? It's an order. <laughs>